One of these days, I think I may try a pub just to see how multiplayer works. It may not be during this playthrough, though. Hi, Kuzel. I haven't seen you in a little while. How, have you do how you doing? The Berlin Central Library contains a medieval... I don't like the Type 99. ...may be the key to stopping the zombie invasion. The Book of Souls. You know what you must do. <clears throat> The most sin's my favorite. I just read a fire. Oh, it just made yeah. I remember that. Uh, I've been okay. Uh, recently things haven't been as stressful. I'm in the best mood, but haven't been in the worst mood either, so. Mostly decent. Hey, random. I don't know if I should go back to the shotgun or the... I think I should stick with the shotgun. Before I shot him in the head. There we go. Hello, Nacho. You plays... what game are you playing? Uh, like the last few times I've had to use you play. Just want to get a little swig of water here. Last few times I've had to use you play, it hasn't been too bad. Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm playing this on PC. I don't even know if this game's available on console. Sniper Elite probably is, but I'm not sure about this. Uh, it's it's pretty standard. It, it doesn't seem like they do anything special other than you killing a bunch of zombies. I did face a I did face a boss at one point. He wasn't that hard to deal with. And you have this, which is really cool. You want headshots in this game. If you don't kill them with a headshot, and try and see if you can blow off their head with one of your secondary weapons. Because otherwise they have a chance of resurrecting. Sometimes you can actually blow off their top half, which is cool, but... That reminds me of the splatter shot from, uh... 
or what? Well, wait, what was it called? Like gore is good or something like that? Perk from uh, Fallout. It's forty-five dollars right now. I would probably recommend to wait to wait and see if it goes on sale because I remember getting it. Uh, Zombie Army Trilogy is actually like. It's the third one in the series, packaged with the first two, an HD update. He actually he scared me a little. Basically, they made the first two games look and play like the third one. I haven't played any of these. Uh, I'm only going off what the description told me. But it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, it is on consoles. Okay. Oh man, how did I miss? See, like that? He had the ability, even though I shut off his limbs, would still have the ability to resurrect, so. Always best to. Go back and give him a final shot in the head. Then you have shots like that where if you're on the low ground, they're coming down, like sometimes they'll. It's just so hard to hit. I think that's true for most sniping in general. Also, I, um, uh, Sprafe actually shed some light on this. I have a very slight palsy in my right arm. Where if I'm doing precision aiming like this, my arm tends to twitch. Oh, come on, I shot right behind his head. No, in all honesty, I'm playing this by myself. I haven't tried the uh, the multiplayer yet, but I at least wanted to get through episode one this week and show this game off for a month of horror. But I don't want to spend too much. I don't want to spend like the rest of the month on this, so I'm only playing it for this week, and then I'll get back to it again at some point. Next week, I'm planning on starting M2 Bloodshot, and I have to do that. Through, uh, I have to do that through capture card. Well, uh, that depends. If I can actually get uh, Clive Parkerson dying working, I haven't tried sulfur rendering yet. If I can get that game working, then that will be next. It's supposed to be now, but I was having problems uh, with the graphic flickering. It's an old game, so I kind of expected that. I'm actually surprised. Sorry, I really gotta. I uh, there's a bunch of gunk going down my throat. Drinking some water helps. Yeah, I had it. I played a little bit of the beginning. And I just kind of stopped playing it. Like, years ago when I first got it. It's a harder game than the first Condemned was. 
еще. an interesting thing about like some of these like about how fast they move that's why it's actually very good to use this to hold your breath because you actually slow down time that is that never gets old because they twitch around so much it's actually very hard to get a shot off Like I said, with precision aiming, it just it makes my arm twitch sometimes. Oh shit! Big guy. Getting as far back as I can. I swore I shot him in the head that time. Guys, you gotta be careful. If they get too close and they, and you don't have any cover, they'll finish you off pretty quickly. Shit. I don't think this is an infection spray. I think this is magic. You actually don't see. You don't see them do this a lot with games anymore. It's uh, not experimentation. It's uh, basically black magic or occult magic or something like that. The uh, basis for this game is god damn it. The basis for this game is to actually fucking hit them in the head. The basis for this game is to... is that... Hitler was losing the war, so he was experimenting with black magic. Occult, occult magic. And it's, star and it's starting to get out of hands. And eventually... Hitler himself becomes possessed. Because if you, yeah, it, uh, if you notice, like, sometimes you'll see, like, uh, you'll see symbols like that pop up and, like, skeletons will spawn and shit. Oh, shit. Even though it's called Nazi Zombie Army, or Nazi Zombie Trilogy, uh... This, uh... The spell that Hitler produced uh, does not discriminate. It'll possess all dead German, American, and Russian soldiers.
Oh. Ah, the shotgun's not in here. Or at least not the one I like. Hello, CC. Aryan magic. I think I know that because I took a uh, took an organized crime course. We talked about uh, Aryan nation, or not Aryan nation, uh, Aryan brotherhood. I think they're called. Well, you can play the campaign, and I think you could probably play, like, uh, an extra mode, too. Essentially, when I'm playing here, you play the exact same thing in multiplayer. It's just that you can have up to four other people. Or three other people. Actually wondering if, uh, if I play with the Left 4 Dead 2 characters, if it's any different. If the campaign's any different. It's probably not, but the story is probably slightly altered. Oops. Like, the, the guy, uh, everybody that you play in this game has their own backstory. The guy that I'm playing is actually German, but he uh, he's a former German doctor, I think, but he's, like, formed. Like, he contributed to... He contributed to helping, uh, uh... Helping get to Hitler. Like, he helped the Allies. Sort of like a redemption for him. Hold on, I just gotta make sure this... Just got a text, I gotta make sure. Alright. Just had to make sure that wasn't work. Is there any dudes down here I can snipe? Not from the looks of it. Sometimes this looks like an area there where there might be some snipers showing up. Oh man, this music. This is how you well, not really music. It's ambient noise. There's a little bit of music. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just it shares that same premise. I never played... I stopped playing Call of Duty after Modern Warfare 2, so... I never played it when they first introduced... Nazi zombies in World at War. jump in this game either, so not that you not that not that it's necessary to, but can throw you off if you're not used to it. 
God damn it. I swore I shot him that time. Very hard. Wait. How is he still living? But I got him. Points don't really matter unless you're going for leaderboards, so you don't really have to worry about getting combos in that regard. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I'll grab ammo full. Okay. I forgot. Yeah, World at War was before Modern Warfare 2. <clears throat> Treyarch was the one that introduced the Nazi zombie thing, and uh, they were responsible for Black Ops. And eventually, most of the team from Infinity War kind of dissolved, even though the I think the development studio is still around. And they eventually created that one game with X. I forget what it's called. It was multiplayer only. But it basically suffered the same fate as Evolve, where people... It was the flavor of the month multiplayer game, pretty much. Everybody and their mother played it for like a good month or two, and now nobody plays it anymore. Which is why I don't typically get on board with games that are multiplayer only, because eventually, or at least not ones that are $60, because eventually no one's going to play it anymore. No one's going to play it anymore, and because uh, it's not new. And then they're going to shut the servers down, so you can't play the game at all. Or they release the sequel. And then nobody plays the older game that you spent $60 on. How did I miss? There. Right in the forehead. How am I missing? God damn. I am awful today. My, uh, my arm just feels a little funny right now. Sorry that I'm, like, stopping so much. I think the, the main reason... I, I mentioned this yesterday, too. The main reason why I think I've been into this so much... I mean, it's a well-designed game, or at least this part is. I heard that uh, Episode 3 is a little shaky, but... Um, I think the reason why I like this game so much, it makes me reminiscent of when I was a kid and I played Wolfenstein 3D. That's essentially what this is, because the premise is similar. Like, Hitler's into some occult shit because he's getting desperate, and, uh... He basically summons demons from hell, and they possess, uh, all the dead soldiers. Well, in Wolfenstein 3D, he still had his soldiers. Just that he also did a bunch of other stuff. I heard that they're going to have 300 microtransactions for the new to Tomb Raider game. This whole card system that makes your single player experience easier and easier. Basically, they're doing something similar that. Oops. That Konami did with uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, protecting your base. Which also turns me off to multiplayer. What's the point of playing if you're just gonna cheat 
you're just gonna pay for cheats. I mean, you don't have to. But a lot of people are going to find that they're, they might want to, just to experience the story. Which, uh, I guess it's like a, gen a generational gap, I don't know. But I find that if you're going to cheat in the game, then why play it in the first place? I can understand, like, after beating the game once, you want to cheat so you can see everything. I used to do that a lot. For any other reason, I don't see the point. Yep, I'm not lying. Uh, most of them are cards. Oh my god, I hate it when they do that. Wow, I didn't even hear him. Yeah, like, uh, cosmetic DLC, I still don't find it worth it because it's too expensive. I'm not against it, though. That's really all that Evolve had. I don't like multiplayer games when it, they make you pay for maps. I didn't really like that with Halo, although I used to I used to pay for them anyway. But like it's too expensive. I don't have the money for that. I am being a bit of a hypocrite because I am cons I'm considering uh I think I might wait to play Fallout 4. I don't think I'll buy that right away. Not because I don't want to, but because uh I think it would be better money-wise if I just stuck to Syndicate for now, brand new. I'm considering buying the $80 version of, uh, because of that, because I'll get the uh, I'll get day one DLC, which I'm not exactly happy about. I think it's day one. Jack the Ripper DLC, I'm interested in. Now, people exploit the f exploit the fuck out of the multiplayer sometimes. That's why I, I kind of stopped after Modern Warfare 2. The uh, the Akimbo 1886s were cheat guns. They were, literally were, at least early on. And even when they nerfed them, did you think it would be that easy? No, I did not. See if you can find the key. Also, if you have auto-aim in a multiplayer game on console, your game is shit. Because you're basically giving everybody the ability to get a headshot. I thought those COD videos where... ...saw people... ...getting these, like, amazing, like, trick shots... 
were like most badass thing, and then I realized they were using auto aim the entire time. Which is still a skill in and of itself. But it does kind of uh, take some of that skill away. Because you're being, you're, it's an aim assist. <laughs> You're not being, you're not, you're not really being precise with your shots. You're letting the game do it for you. Your timing is just better than most people. Like you can, you just, you can just react a little bit faster. Oh my god, why am I sucking so much today? Jesus Christ. Is this door open now? Well... Like, uh, I don't fall with game assist, but you kind of need it for consoles. Because the controller can't be nearly as precise as a mouse and keyboard can. He shot his hat off. Well, I liked Halo. I mean, it was fun to play with friends in college. This story was kind of interesting for a harm, uh, for a uh, science fiction story. What was that? Oh, is that? Oh, okay. That was a little creepy. Oh, I thought they were gonna actually spawn in skeletons or something. That happens with every console generation, and you tend to use your old one a lot less if you get the new ones. Eventually, they're going to stop releasing the uh, games on the old console because they want to start selling new consoles more. Or they want to keep these sales up for them. Again, my right arm feels a little weird right now, so i gotta, I got to take like a, a few seconds break every so often. Just gotta stretch it a little bit. I don't know why it's been so bad today. <sighs> oh, you're talking about Battlefront? Yeah, um, 
So here's the thing. If you're a fan of Star Wars and you didn't mind the multiplayer from Battlefield 4, you're probably going to love uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, but Battlefield 4, for me, left a very bitter taste in my mouth. It wasn't anything special, in my opinion, because I'm kind of over the uh, arcade-style multiplayer shooters with, like, the modern combat setting. But, um, I don't know. Most first-person shooters, unless they do something special with it, I, I'm kind of, I've been over them for a long time now. Like, Rainbow Six Siege only catches my eye because... Well, I did play, like, uh, New Vegas, and I was terrible at it. Uh, so that kind of turned me off to the series. But I wasn't very good at first-person shooters at that time. Plus, it was a whole other ball game. Like, the only first-person shooter I really played was Halo at that time. Like, Half-Life was its own beast, so I don't even count that. Um... Hello, Lord Butchel. But... Like, since I was playing, like, games like COD, Medal of Honor... Uh... And even a little bit of the Battlefield games, like... They release those every year. And it's, like, the same thing over and over, just with the graphical update. It's like sports games, it's the same game every year. Just with the uh, with the player lists all updated for the current year and whatnot. So after a while, stuff like that just gets old for me, and I'm gonna like that's why I, I kind of gave up on Nintendo too because they weren't doing they were doing new things gameplay wise, but it was they were only trying new things on an old franchise. And it got stale to me after a while. Some people, it'll never go stale. They love doing that all the time. and I don't fault them for that. Some people can just find enjoyment like that. For you. It's a little harder for me to... Shit! Oh, God. Okay, I gotta get really far back. This is the best way I think I can handle this guy. I found. When I'm in a tight corridor like this, this is the best way I found. Because he wrecks shit. Oh, there we go. I got him. The trip mines and the land mines do a lot of damage against him. He's uh, He always gets me on edge, because if I'm too close and he gets enough shots on me, I'm, he kills me really fast. Metro 2033. I played a little bit of that when I had my old graphics card, but it didn't run very well with it. That game was actually made for NVIDIA. I have the original, but I actually do want to play the HD update. I don't think I can I can do it this month because I don't own it. Uh, if I start running out of ideas or games to play, it's actually kind of low on the list. Because uh, I Uni suggested Realms of the Haunting, which I would probably play. That's that's up there. Soma is another one that's up there. But it's definitely something I wouldn't mind playing.
mean, there's no room for the Medal of Honor series. The Medal of Honor series was Battlefield with a story. It was a bad Battlefield, a bad Battlefield game was, uh, with a moderately decent story. Like, a lot of people said they really love the story of that. The gameplay was awful. Alright, this is getting me a little on edge. I don't like those kids at all. They are really creeping me the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, I love the old ones. Uh, Allied Assault was my favorite in that entire series. Oh yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Don't worry about a cruisal. If it sounds like I'm taking you too seriously or, or, or I'm too annoyed, I don't intend for that. That's kind of just how my tone of voice is all the time. <laughs> I've been told that before. Whenever I talk, I sound like I'm really annoyed. I can't help that either. I'm so sorry if it sounds that way sometimes. I might, uh, I think it's because, like, maybe sometimes I'm a little bit tired, or maybe I don't realize that I'm just how my voice is. Jesus, sorry. My, uh, my arm spasm there. I actually scared myself a little. <sighs> yeah, your voice can be flat sometimes, but you're still... You sound a lot better than me. Your voice generally sounds better than mine. Although people love the sound of my voice, and I still don't get that. <laughs> I mean, it's a very nice compliment. But I don't get why people actually like the sound of my voice so much. Like, I hear myself on playback. Like, my voice sounds fine when I'm speaking, but your voice always technically sounds relatively deeper.
sustain when you actually than when you're actually hearing it on playback. Whenever I listen to it, I just think I sound like a huge nerd. I mean, I am a huge nerd. So... <laughs> yeah, you do. You're in the top five for... Uh, the sexiest accents in the world, in my opinion. Number one is Irish. Nothing personal. But the Irish, especially women, have the sexiest accent, hands down. For me. Like, if I went to, uh... Come on, stop doing the Thriller dance already. Okay, what's my... Uh, what do they say my objective here is right now? I think it's just, uh, I have to hold out. There we go. Hello, Vlad. Really? But you typically kill some. that I get point blank sh point blank shot with a sniper like that. told me to go in here, so where do I go now? I guess I'm going the right way.
shot him in half. Oh, there's the last key. I was supposed to go this way. Oh, come on. That was like immediate. Always a headshot. Well, not always. Always try for a headshot. I'm hoping that they didn't open that door. And I'm not going back this way for no apparent reason. Oops. Fuck! There we go. Six eight page report on livestock production. Sounds thrilling. Yeah, that, that's typically how many pages most of my reports had to be. Some of them are only three to four, most were six to eight. Longest one I had to do was 20 pages. And that was my, uh... That was my, um, internship paper, I had to write. No, uh, the internship was like a 10-page paper, and then a the 20-page paper was like something following up the internship. I thought I got them all. Guess not. Did I go in here yet? I don't think I did. Oh. Just in case we make it. I guess I didn't get all the keys yet. Maybe, maybe I have to go, oh wait. What's over here? Nothing. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like it when they do words. I'd rather they do page. <laughs> they do pages. It gives you a little flexibility there. I like this music a lot. This game's got a good soundtrack. I actually have no clue what I'm supposed to do next. I think I still need to find more keys, but I don't know where this last... I think I need to find four keys, and I only have three. But I don't know where this last one is. Never mind, I think I found it. Yep, 
This is the last key. I think it's the last key. Is it? A, it seemed like there was only a half a go. How they have an indicator? I'm sure there was a way I could dodge out of that. Oh god, he's stuck. Your health regenerates, thankfully, so if there's nobody else around, then they don't really make much of a difference. Wait. Indicator's down there, but I can't go this way. But that's where I was supposed to go. Seems like that open up, but where do I go? It wants me to go down there, but I can't go down there. Maybe I had to go this way first. Okay. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, I, I knew that already. I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, here we are. Yeah, this is a safe room. Should give me that double barrel shotgun. <sighs> yeah, it's a uh, one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock the door. Five, six, grab a crucifix. Seven, eight, better lock the gate. And nine, ten. I always forget that last line. Let's do it again or something like that? Never sleep again. Ah, okay. Honestly, the only, uh,. Nightmare on Elm Street movie that I watched all the way through was uh, was Freddy vs. Jason. I don't know. I'm wrong. Uh, I watched A New Nightmare, which was kind of a shit movie. Great, do I have to deal with snipers too? 
I just saw a uh, shot was past my head. Oh god, I hear the big guy. Oh god, this is not a good place to... Uh... Please don't do that to me right in the middle of this part. Game. Oh, and I gotta turn on the AC now. I got really lazy about uh, cleaning out my computer. I was supposed to do it this weekend, and I didn't. A Freddy vs. Jason was a terrible movie, but in a good way. Like, uh... I I'm not sure if they were trying to make that movie f uh, intentionally funny or not, but it I just love watching that movie. It's, it's so bad, it's good. It's in that territory. Do I even need to kill him? Because the indicator's just telling me to go this way. Oh, this is a bit much better place to hold out, okay. No, it's not. There we go. There we go. Good, bad, I'm the guy with the gun. I like that. I like that achievement progress. Looks like I have to collect this.
Oh, I gotta go back down. And they went to TI-5. Right, so oh, yeah! What is TI-5? I saw Math share that. Nice to know what uh, Schnoodley actually looks like. I guess that's he's just with all his uh, oh, the international. Is that just another like uh, convention, like uh, Comic Con or not TwitchCon? TwitchCon something different, like Comic Con or something like that. Oh, it's a Dota event. <laughs> That's an interesting observation, random. <laughs> Fuck me. Got you before you could res, you bastard. All right, you guys. Getting special treatment. Oh, this door's open. I guess this is where I'm supposed to go next. No, it's not. I didn't even know I could go on to this side. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll ever find out what Sprafe sounds like. I mean, I, I'm not sure we'll ever find out what bread sounds like. I can't go back. What is going on? They're all just exploding. There we go. That was a little freaky. God, uh, I am. This is not a good spot to stay in. I gotta start moving. God damn these skeletons! Oh God, are they doing it again? Yeah, they are. Take some of them out for me. They're actually helping me out a little. I 
That's not everything, is it? I'm sorry, my arm is just really bothering me right now. The scariest thing is one of us could have walked past him at some point during our lives. And we wouldn't have known. Meanwhile, he could be uh, hiding a giggle. That could be true ever since I've been using this uh, webcam. Because now everyone who watches the stream knows what I look like. I don't know what, like, my arm feels like so weird right now. I don't know what is wrong with it. And ask all the residents if their alias is Chicago Pred. Person who runs away is that loaf. What time is it? It's 8.30 already. This one's uh, really long. Oh god, it's happening again. They're strangely helping me out in that regard. All of those kamikaze zombies. I can't stay in here. Especially if they're gonna pile in like that. Oh. That scared me a little too. I thought the game was freezing. Oh! Oh man, that's like that was a good shot. <laughs> that looks great when it's going up like that. Oh, I thought he was there. There's two more of them. No, there's three. Another one! Oh, it went through his arm! Oh, I'm putting it through their mouths. God, I love that they showed them all. <laughs> Those are good shots. Should find the video. Oh, God. I don't even know where he is right now. He's right there.
Oh god, he's coming through. There we go, he's dead. <laughs> it's always to the mouth. Uh, Alright, that's just one shooting a rocket launcher and being a bitch. Er. If Brad was the skinny one in that video, that is not another big guy, is it? Yeah, it is! Oh my god. This one has me on edge because these guys are still really hard to deal with. I, uh, I'm at least better with dealing with them now, but especially if there's a group of uh, zombies still running after you. It can be a bit of a pain. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, please get in. Oh god, I can't go that way. Awesome! Impossible. If Bradley Pooh doesn't really come, I don't think he knows that I stream. And I don't really, I don't typically see him that much anymore either. Like, I'll see him pop in in other people I watch sometimes. Uni's chat or something. Pen is mightier than the sidearm. <laughs> Eighty percent shot accuracy. Plays Dota most of the time, from what Schnoodley told us. Okay. All right. This is probably a good time for me to. Uh... Go to the bathroom real quick. Like I said, uh, this game freaks out whenever uh, I alt tab, so I can't put the BRB message up or GIF. So you're just gonna see a, a blank screen on uh, <laughs> the webcam part until I'm done with this. So I'll be right back.
I'm kind of glad I have that air my air conditioner in still because the uh, the weather right now has been like the temperatures have been dropping and lowering a lot. Like some days lately, it'll be seventy. Other days, it'll be like fifty during the day. Demonic forces have barricaded the U-Bahn subway tunnels that stand between you and salvation. You must venture into them and brave the unspeakable horrors they contain if you are to find a way out of Berlin. All right. 8.35. So, hopefully... I can finish this one tonight, too. Yeah, see, you see, like, when they do introductions like that? Uh... Let me see something, actually. Uh... Checkpoint progress will be lost. Yeah... That's a thing. I can't exit the game and save my checkpoints. So hopefully this one doesn't take that long. So I would have to actually... Now you know what? I am a little worried that this is going to run for like another two hours. So it might be a good idea to uh, end this right here.